Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the A Little Less Fear podcast. I am your host for the show, Dr. Lino Martinez. Oh yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to the Little Less Fear podcast. I am really super duper happy to invite back Mix Van Ethan Levy, who did a documentary on uh, called Do Something Trans and Non Binary Identities. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. I'm really interested to know. Um, t- I mean, tell us, or the audience, what your documentary is about. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. So the documentary is called Do Something, Trans and Non-Binary Identities. And it's a documentary that's created to demonstrate to the world the realities of navigating as a trans and or non-binary person. This film will take you on a journey through 16 different stories from eight different trans and or non-binary people of the most affirmed they've ever felt in regards to their identity, as well as the most pain or violence they experienced just due to their identity. And the intentionality is to show the world how at our most affirmed, it's just so basic, such as having someone use our names, our pronouns, having access to medical care, surgeries, hormones, where the most violence and pain we experience, most people will never have to experience that just for being who they are, while also having a call to action to the viewers um, on how to create safer, more affirming spaces within our community. So every single person involved in the film, including our legal team, are all trans and or non-binary people and who are also all financially compensated, which is not very common. Most of the time we're asked to share, to teach others about how to support us, and then we don't get compensated for that. So currently we do have a GoFundMe and all the tickets that we sell will go to that GoFundMe, which will go back to pay everybody involved in the film adequately versus just the small stipend that I was able to offer. I can imagine it was difficult um, getting volunteers and participants. How did you go through that process? So that was actually really difficult. So I had posted in all these different Facebook groups, um, which had some of them had like 30,000 different people uh, in there. I asked people who I knew, they connected me with people they know, because it's very hard to know who to trust within our own community. And from what I'm asking of people to do, it can be really difficult knowing that potentially the world could be watching this. Yes, definitely. Um, And how can our audience watch your documentary? How will we be able to watch it? So we have submitted it to some festivals. We're waiting to hear back if we did get accepted to any of those. However, we're going to do a a live screen viewing of it Uh on November 20th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, And the, the tickets will be going on sale shortly here in the next week where people can buy one of two tickets, either the viewing tickets or a VIP ticket, which allows screening as well as questions and answers and conversations with people who are involved in the film. Um, I don't know if everybody who was involved in the film will be there, but we will have a few of us. And I I know that you had mentioned that you might even be there as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I'm wondering why you chose November 20th as your premiere release date. Yeah, uh, so we intentionally chose this date. November 20th is Trans Day of Remembrance, which is where we honor and remember all the trans, non-binary, and many more non-cis identity siblings who were violently taken from us. And we often forget to address the many ways in which our community, ourselves, and others are experiencing this violence every single day that brings us to our early deaths. Um, I really ask people to, to think about that the average yearly salary of a trans person is only $10,000. Imagine trying to live off of that, having access to healthcare, housing, food insecurities, and so much more. So think about it. Can you survive on $10,000 a year no without, without any additional supports? No way, no way. So then what, what can we do to support um, our trans non-binary communities? So there's a lot of which ways we can do that. And that's actually part of the film is having a a call to action on just just different ways we can do that. Um, One of the biggest ways is exploring, identifying, and addressing the ways in which our own internalized transphobia shows up. And all of us has that. 
So a few questions we can ask ourselves is looking at, I apologize, uh, not just looking, um, exploring how many friends do we have that are trans, that are non-binary, that aren't cis? Mm -hmm. How many people have we dated with these identities? How many people do we work with with these identities? So the reality is when we're in the world, at the grocery store, at the bank, wherever it is we might be, how many people are really existing in positions of power or holding jobs or out there with that we're aware of that hold these identities? Right, right? that's true. So we're constantly being rejected from spaces, from places, discriminated against, denied housing, medical care, food, employment, and so much more. Additionally, well, another thing that people don't realize is how much sexual violence not only do we experience, but that they're engaging in, in forms of just different questions, which are all about what's between our legs. So people yeah, might ask yeah. things and think it's harmless to say, what were you before? What were you born as? Have you had any surgeries? What were you assigned at birth? Without realizing that all of these questions are equating to our genitals. Because when we're born, doctors aren't looking at our chromosomes or what uh, hormones we have. They're just looking at our genitals mm -hmm. to see, is there a penis or a vagina, whether to stamp us as male or female? So every time people ask us these questions, they're engaging in sexual violence because they're asking about our genitals. Um, and then another thing that people also don't realize is that any time we apply for jobs or for housing or for a loan or a car or anything that might need a background check, there's a question that asks, have you ever used any previous names? And that question <laughs> forces us to be out, which is really harmful. It is really <laughs> harmful. I don't like that question at all. Yeah. So how much are the tickets going to cost? So we're still trying to decide the price. What we have thought of so far is to view the film, $25. For the VIP tickets, $50. Uh, that might change. We'll for sure have an area for donation so people can donate for other people to, who cannot afford tickets so that they can be able to go. Uh, and we'll also have an email link for people who can't afford to go where they can contact us so we can help you know, connect them and, and potentially most likely get them in because we don't want to create barriers for people who don't have money uh, that right. doesn't allow them to see the film. That's true. Was there anything else you wanted to add about your documentary? Um, yeah, I just want to invite people to remember that Trans Day of Remembrance is a day that we remember those who are violently taken from us while uplifting those of us who are still here and creating awareness of our realities. Do something. Trans and non-binary identities is a film that is designed to be a call to action and it provides ways we can create that safer and more affirming spaces in our community. So come be a part of history. Mark your calendars for November 20th, 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Central Time and join us for the first time screening of Do Something, Trans and Non-Binary Identities uh, and keep a lookout for those tickets. Uh, uh, they'll be through Eventbrite and we'll We'll keep things updated uh, through our newsletter, which you can sign up for, which is my full name, vanethanlevy.com. And I know that you said that we would be able to maybe uh, have some links on this podcast to the GoFundMe, to the Eventbrite, to the page, so that people can stay connected. And, and I hope to see you all there. Absolutely. And I can't wait to watch the film and be a part of it. And um, I watched it come into fruition. It's been a beautiful journey. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, looking forward to November 20th. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And thank you so much for, for having me. And if, if you forget the name of the documentary, just remember that it's a call to action, which is why it's do something. So show us what you can do. Show us what you can do, everybody. Love you so much. A little less for your podcast.